superb jubilee. Whoa, the chocolates began coming out faster and faster. They sped by him so quickly they seemed to be running on legs of their own. Quick, bring more boxes, yelled a man with a tall white hat. What happened? asked another man. Nobody answered. Nobody knew what had happened, and everyone was so busy that nobody noticed George. The workers began to fall behind, and the candy began to fall off the end of the belt. Save the chocolates, yelled the man with the tall white hat. Meanwhile, George saw one of his favorites whiz by. He tried to catch the banana cream chocolate, but it was too fast. He chased it to the end of the belt. At the end of the belt, piles of chocolate was growing taller and taller. George had never seen so many chocolates. He searched for the banana cream and he put the others in the empty boxes. George was a fast worker. Someone noticed and yelled, bring that monkey more boxes. He's helping us catch up. Not all of the chocolates made it into the boxes, but no more chocolates fell to the floor. Just when George and the other workers were all cut up, the tour guide ran in with the man with the yellow hat. Get that monkey out of here, she yelled. He is ruining our chocolates. But this little monkey saved the chocolates, explained the workers. The man with the tall white hat said to George, Oh, you may have caused us some trouble, but you were a speedy little monkey. You deserve a big box of candy for all your help. George was glad he was not in trouble, but he did not take the chocolates. Back in the parking lot, the workers waved goodbye as George and his friend got into their little blue car. George, are you sure you don't want any chocolates before we leave? Asked the man with the yellow hat. George was sure. How come he didn't want any chocolates? Because he had a tummy ache. He ate too many, eh? Yeah. He did tummy ache. Because remember in the book, he, he said some made it into the box. Some made it into the boxes and some made it into George's belly. I think all of the banana cream made it into the I his think so. His face. We forgot to do something. And is it okay to forget something? It was the prayer. Is it okay we to make forget. mistakes? Yes. So we forgot to do our prayer. So okay. if you'll put your hands together in the name of the Father, Lord, and the Son, Son, and the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear God, we pray for everyone who makes food for us, who are working hard in factories and on assembly lines to get us tasty and yummy and healthy food for our bodies. We also pray for those who make mistakes, including us. Um, Help us to know that it's okay to make mistakes, and that's how we learn and how we grow. Um, God, we thank you for this day, for home and school and work and play, for wind and rain and sun above, most of all for those we love. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. I'm going to pause the video. So we read the Chocolate Factory, and I don't know any songs about chocolate. So I was trying to think about a song, and what I came up with was the ants go marching. Now what do ants marching and a chocolate factory have to do with each other? Where's the connection in that? Why would I think about chocolates being made on a fact in a factory and ants marching in a line? Is that the challenge? Well, no, it's not the challenge, but I'm asking, why do you think I chose that song? Can you see the connection? Yeah. What's the connection? Um, they all go in line. They're all going in a line. So the chocolates are made in a line, on a and they move on a conveyor belt, and the ants are going in a line, they're marching in a line too. So let's listen to and read and sing this one. It's a sing and read storybook by illustrated by Jeffrey Schrerer. The ants go marching. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one. The little one stops to suck his thumb. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out 
of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two. The little one stops to tie his shoe. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching three by three. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three. The little one stops to ride a bee. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching four by four. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four. The little one stops to shut the door. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching five by five. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching five by five. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching five by five. The little one stops to jump and drive. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching six by six. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching six by six. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching six by six. The little one stops to pick up sticks and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching seven by seven. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching seven by seven. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching seven by seven. The little one stops to write with a pen and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching eight by eight. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching eight by eight. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching eight by eight. The little one stops to roller skate and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching nine by nine. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching nine by nine. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching nine by nine. The little one stops to drink and dine, and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching ten by ten. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching ten by ten. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching ten by ten. The little one stops to say the end. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 the end. So, that was a big song. I You're... wanted you to tell us something. There was a bug in each picture. There was a bug in each picture. Very cool. Um, your challenge today is to march around your house. Now, every time you go by, so where you start, so if you start at your front door, your back door, your garage, so wherever you start, you go march all the way around, and each time that you march around, you have to pick up someone or something. So maybe it's a brother or a sister or a mummy or a daddy or a dog. So then you're marching to around your house. And if you can't get anybody, you may, you may choose to bring a stuffy. So how can you carry all 10 stuffies, maybe at once? So first you're gonna walk around your house, you're gonna march around your house by yourself. Then you're gonna march around with someone or bring a stuffy. Then you're gonna bring two stuffies or two somebodies and march around your house. So maybe, what could you do to carry all those friends, those stuffies, if you were going to carry them? Put them in a the backpack. Backpack. Or a bag. Bag. Use your arms. Use your arms. Wagon. Big bear hug. <laughs> Big bear hug. Grab them. So you'll have to figure out, you'll have to be creative and figure out how you're going to carry all those 
10 stuffies. But if you have people, I don't know how many people have 10 people at their house, but maybe if you have a couple people, they could carry a stuffy as well. So try and be creative to march around your house. Go now in peace, go now in peace.